Hi everyone, this is the dialogue. I couldn't pass this one up. This is the British model who was kidnapped. More questions are being asked. After flying to a supposed photo shoot in Milan, Chloe is said to have been drugged, transported by suitcase. Okay, so let's have a look at the suitcase. Even though I think this is not meant to be her, this is meant to be a representation of her. If we look at this woman, she's very thin, very thin to fit into the suitcase. And obviously this is Italian, so maybe this is supposedly the actual original suitcase that Chloe was meant to be in. But if we look at Chloe later on, see that she's somewhat bigger than this woman here. They're not the same woman as they're trying to make you believe. Let's have a look. Supported by suitcase, and then held for six days in a remote Italian village. But despite being kidnapped, it's been revealed her captor took her shoe shopping and she didn't raise the alarm. Did you hear that, people? She went shoe shopping. She went shoe shopping with the perpetrator and she didn't raise an alarm. Can you imagine her raising the alarm? Well, let's have a look. Chloe's lawyer says she was threatened with death if she didn't comply and her story does add up. Ci sono alcuni elementi che la... There are some elements on which attorneys had some doubts, very understandably. And you can see his shoulder raising, so he's just reiterating that some people have doubts. These doubts have been overcome, enough to substantiate measures against the person who is now in prison. Okay, so he's a defence lawyer for her. So can you always trust defence lawyers? No, you can't, because often their clients are guilty of the crime, but they've still got to defend them. Sometimes they're innocent, of course. Let's have a look. That man in prison is from Poland. 30-year-old Lucas Herber, who lives in the West Midlands, has been arrested. So that guy took Chloe on a shopping spree, yet Chloe was still allegedly kidnapped. Others are believed to be involved. Hi. Chloe was told she'd be sold into slavery in the Middle East. To whoever would. So this is Chloe. You've probably seen the pictures. Now, my red flags and alarm bells start ding-donging when I see the very pretty, very, you know, voluptuous Chloe here who's wearing her tight little t tank top and a little tiny short and it may it's shorts hot over there at the moment but plastered with makeup and hair just perfect it makes you think why is she so obsessed with her looks when she's been through the most horrific ordeal that any female ever wants to go through it's a horrific ordeal how about that pay the most for her online i've been through a terrifying experience i feared for my life second by second minute by minute hour by hour i am incredibly grateful to the italian and uk authorities for all they have done to secure my safe release and Right, let's go back and have a look at that in slower motion. Dear Chloe, I think you need a bit of work on this. Post for her online. I've been through a terrifying experience. Can you see the fear on her face? It was absolutely terrifying. So terrifying you would see um you should be seeing fear up here on her forehead and the furrowing of the eyebrows even if it's just a flash which is a micro expression but we get zero zilch nothing so i feared for my life i feared for my life and she has a little smile on her face that doesn't tell me she was fearing second by second second by second minute by minute minute by minute hour by hour hour by hour i am incredibly grateful to the italian and uk authorities now here's the problem her eyes are down a lot of the time and she's reading so when you read you know hey it takes a lot of the emotion out of what you're saying but if you've been through a horrific ideal uh, ordeal you've been kidnapped your life is on the line you've got a child you know you're fighting for every single breath that you take because you're in a suitcase hello so the um there's no sense of panic, anxiety, or remembering the anxiety or the panic you were going through. Really, it really smacks of a publicity stunt. Maybe they were both in cahoots, which I think they were. And it will probably be revealed or never be revealed. And, um, you know, obviously it's won't work for her. For all they have done to secure my safe release. And friends who've heard firsthand about Chloe's ordeal in Italy say she should be believed. Here's the weird thing. I think a lot of people really love the fame and they want to get a bit of their 15 minutes worth of fame, even the friends. So let's have a look at her. I, I don't think Chloe would make something like this up. You know, she's not my sort of girl. And I don't believe her either. Um, so <laughs> she's not believable, her overall demeanor. But... And she's not even believing it either. She could be misled and she is quite naive. Naive, okay.
Now, I think possibly what happened is my theory about young Chloe here. Oh, no, I think she just stayed with him for a few days and then they just um, concocted the story together. Remember, he took her to the embassy, to the British embassy in Italy. Uh, who does that? And another thing, he's immoral, right? He stole her, he kidnapped her. And then he found out she had a child, so he said, right, I'll give you back, because that's against our rules. So there's a lot of anomalies here that don't add up. So red flags all the way through this. Another thing, so when she was reading this little piece of paper, she sounds like a seven-year-old reading a reader book. There's no emotion there, she's just reading the words. So that's an alarm bell as well. So there's so many alarm bells and flags that I actually don't believe the story. And in fact, I never believed it. Right, hope you enjoyed this video. This is the dialogue. Please like and subscribe and take a look at my Patreon page.